Hello, everyone. This is Felicia Bender, the practical numerologist, with your monthly numerology forecast for the one personal year for March 2023. So before we get off and running, I'm going to give you a little bonus information right now as we key into the month. So if your life path number uh, or another of your core numbers in your numerology profile. I know we're getting a little advanced here. Uh, some of you may be new to numerology. You don't even know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, and rightly so, if you're new. And yet the life path number is usually what brings people to numerology. It's like knowing your sun sign in astrology. So if you know your life path, and it is the same number as your personal year because these forecasts are, are uh, created uh, around the personal year, right? So uh, if your life path number is the same as your personal year number, the year is highlighted as a really special period in which you get double the pleasure and double the triggers or the lessons that you are working on developing and deepening with your overall life path purpose right now, right in the here and now in your life right now, right? Uh, so of course, if you're in a one personal year this year, your one personal year nine years ago is going to be a bit different because you're nine years younger. Uh, in the in the future, nine years from now, it'll be a little different also because you'll be nine years older. And so it's kind of a no duh to say that, but I think it really bears repeating because uh, it's not always going to be the same for you because you're going to be at a different time in your life, and yet they will. It's it's going to carry the same thematics, the same energy, the same themes that you get to work with and that are supporting you during this year. So let's say uh, you happen to be a one life path and you are in your one personal year this year. It's going to put you to the test and ask you to up level your life uh, with those key elements or the themes of your life path, which have to do with leadership, with independence, creativity, healthy self-confidence and standing on your own two feet uh, among many other things, right? But that kind of gives you the, the idea about it. Uh, so the same if the one shows up as one of your other core numbers, like your destiny or also called the expression number. Maybe it's your soul urge. Maybe you're born on the first of the month, the 10th of the month, the 19th. Uh, that would bring you uh, a one birthday. So it will have that special significance for you. And why I bring this up is because it's really a, a special gift that you get to use that energy to really bolster this, uh, this part of your character, of your personality, and of your purpose in life. So if you don't know your life path number, please uh, go, go to the drop down in the nav bar, go to the homepage on my website. You can calculate your li life path number there. Uh, there's also a lot of information about your life path. So if you're new to this and you're like, mm, that's kind of interesting, head on over there, lots of free information for you there. If you wanna do a deep dive, you can order an individual report. That's under the shop tab. Again, there's all kinds of resources there to help you out on your numerology journey. So with that said, uh, if you are experiencing a one personal year uh, this year in 2023, March is a number four personal month for you. So I've done the math for you. Don't need to worry about it. Trust me on this. You are in a number four personal month. So the reflection for you right now is that this really is the month to buckle down and put in the effort. <laughs> it's gonna pay off in a big way because the month of March offers this very tenacious and practical energy that the number four brings with it whenever it shows up. And so what does that mean, pray tell, uh, as you kind of channel your inner William Shakespeare there, uh, what does that mean? So this means that it is the time to pull up those bootstraps, uh, to really dig in, to get serious, and to do the work 
uh, four weeks, okay? Four week time period right now that you get to kind of buckle in and, uh, and get serious and get clear about what you're doing, what you're working on. And this can be uh, the whole, a whole gamut of things that you're working with in your life, right? It can be business, it can be personal relationships, it can be uh, some health issues, anything that you're really working with, it's the time to get serious about it and take step by step by step um, uh, um, actions to, uh, to get what you want. Okay. So it's more of a serious month. It's demanding you take yourself, your wants, your needs, and your desires, uh, quite seriously. All right. It's about the effort, putting in the effort. So the more you opt to actually do something <laughs> constructive rather than just think about it and think, ah, eh, maybe later, you know, no, this is the month to, uh, to not procrastinate, okay? It's the month to take the action and uh, and support it and support those outcomes with, uh, with a plan, right? Get a plan. So the energy of the four can feel like a bit of a, a splash of cold water on your face. It's a little bit of a wake up call. There's a lot to do and it's demanding that you actually get up early and do it, okay? So another aspect of the energy of the number four is that, that you can really take advantage of this month is that the four offers a supportive energy to learn something new or to expand your knowledge base uh, around something that you're already interested in, you're already jazzed about, right? This is a perfect month to take a class, uh, to read a few books, even teach something that you have expertise in. Uh, teach that, get out, of, get out of your comfort zone if that pulls you out of your comfort zone and actually uh, engage in that. The four is the teacher and also the learner, right? So when you experience a cycle guided by the number four, uh, like you are with this four week period that you're in, uh, in your one personal year, know that you'll also be met with some opportunities uh, to work with some old family issues that come up in some way, shape, or form. And this is a real potential for some real shifts, some really deep healing that can happen. And yet, uh, for this to transpire, of course, <laughs> right, there will have to be a catalyst, something that happens that provokes uh, this uh, immediate necessity to do something differently with the issue at hand. So don't su be surprised if you get a little bit of this this month. You know, maybe something comes to a head with a with a uh, some kind of engagement you've been having with a sibling, or maybe your your spouse, or maybe even children, colleagues, friends. Something that uh, uh, makes you move the needle and not do something in the same old, same old, same old pattern and the same old routine and the same old way. The four is always asking you to step out of that and expand yourself and be more flexible uh, in, in that realm. All right. So understand also that you get two number four personal months in 2023. So the next one is going to fall at the end of the year in December. So I would just say, pay some attention to the basic feelings that March brings to you and see how, uh, you know, when you get over to December, say, hey, wasn't this, yeah, well, this is a four personal month again. Are we having any repeat, uh, repeated um, feelings? situations, those sorts of things, maybe just parallel energies. Or it could also be that something comes up with that, say you have that sibling conversation this month, and in December, you have the holiday, you've got the holidays going and you've got your sibling uh, there and certain triggers that would that always trigger you with that sibling on, on, on Christmas or whatever holidays you're at, doesn't trigger you anymore. And you're like, wow, okay. That really, that was worth it, right? So it's those sorts of things that you can start to think about uh, uh, when the sh four shows up and how you can use this, right? Actually use it. So overall, March is earmarked uh, for getting your ducks in a row uh, through some really tip-top management, some supervision, some organization. It's up to you to do it, all right? No one's gonna, no one's gonna fly in and do it for you. So you've gotta be the one large and in charge right now. So be prepared to negotiate some contracts, maybe some agreements around March 13th or March 15th, 
so the 13th through the 15th. But remember to be, really be flexible here. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for support. Again, this applies to friends, family, uh, colleagues. Know that you cannot get it done all solo. Don't be Charles Atlas holding the world <laughs> on your shoulders this month, right? Really, you're going to have to, or you get more success when you ask for help. So uh, you'll need to take the responsibility, of course, for everything that you're going to be involved in, uh, but, um, but step out of your own way, ask for help, ask for new ideas, creative suggestions uh, from others. It really is gonna be beneficial. It'll be that aha, right? That aha moment that you've been grinding, grinding, grinding on something because it's all in your own head. And then you have a conversation with someone and ask their opinion and voila. <laughs> There it is. There it is right there. Uh, so also understand that the energy related to the four can really usher in some feelings of limitation. The four is uh, the number of limitation in numerology. That's not bad. It simply makes you uh, uh, get, get a plan, take things step by step, take it slow and steady. That is the point of those limitations. It, and yet it doesn't... Um, it doesn't keep it from feeling a little overwhelming or a little stultifying or frustrating, right? So you can even, you know, during this month, just be aware you can turn those smallest things, right? The littlest glitches the, into this, you know, huge monster, monster who's supposed, you know, who you feel like is there to devour you alive. So don't let that happen. Again, the power of numerology is, oh, uh, I'm feeling this way that I don't have to. I can reposition myself here and I can uh, see it differently and just uh, kind of back up, take it a little slower and take it a little bit more methodically and everything will be just fine, all right? So a great fallback for the month is to, uh, again, step back, take those different perspectives, slow it down. When things feel heavy, uh, you're going to feel a little bit exhausted, a little exasperated. It really, when you get those feelings uh, that you really realize they're right there, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> so, so tired of this, you know? So it's your cue to find a way to lighten it up, to step out of it for a moment and then come back refreshed, find some lightness, find a way to laugh at yourself or the situation. And then you can come back and things will kind of fall into line uh, after you can lighten that up. Um, it, it, the key is to really pace yourself right now. So around March 28th, expect a significant lightening of your workload. That'll be lovely, won't it? Um, so yay. <laughs> this can be due to uh, maybe a completion of a project or a, re a release of some kind of commitment or engagement, right? It's something finishing up. So as you continue to launch into your year of new beginnings and fresh starts in your one personal year, March is the month to kind of get serious, not kind of, but to get serious and to force yourself uh, to get cleared, get some clarity, uh, get the, you know, call in the, call in the information <laughs> and see where you can get clear about what you want, and where you're going. All right. The key features for the month are organization, management, and clearly defined benchmarks. And don't expect to skip any steps to get where you want to be. That'll backfire every single time when you're dealing with a four, which you are for these four weeks. All right, just four weeks. But the power of it cannot be underestimated. All right. The one personal year places you in the final throes of this major three-year transition that you've been in through your eight personal year uh, last year was your nine, now in your one. So you're really moving into creating the, the, you know, the framework for this next nine year cycle. It's really, uh, it's, it can't, you know, the power can't be underestimated and it's not over. It's just beginning. You're just getting things in line. So keep readjusting yourself as new and exciting things are revealed to you. This is the month to lock a few things down, get serious about yourself, and how you want the year to unfold. So that is your forecast for March. I am wishing you a very happy spring, hoping that call in the spring, the springy uh, weather and energy that comes in March as we're heading into, into the thaw, right? Uh, I look forward to meeting you here, same time, same channel, sort of, so to speak, for your April forecast next month. So I'm looking forward to meeting you and uh, have a beautiful month. And I'll see you back here 
then.